Test the spirit. Are they telling you lies? Test the spirit. And don't assume they are wise. Test the spirit. They may not be the good guy. Be discerning. Check to see if it's true. Be discerning. Or they'll keep misleading you. First Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. But have nothing to do with worldly fables, fit only for old women. On the other hand, discipline yourselves for the purpose of godliness. For bodily discipline is only of little profit, but godliness is profitable for all things, since it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Worldly fables. You know, yeah, Peter, in 2 Peter one sixteen, he wrote, For we did not follow cleverly devised tales when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Where was that again? That's 2 Peter one sixteen. So he's saying specifically that they did not follow cleverly devised tales. All right? Cleverly devised tales. Because that becomes, that's how you deceive somebody. I mean, if, it, if you don't craft it and, and, you know, bend it to make it look as close to the real thing as possible. Mm-hmm. Well, how are you going to fool anybody? But remember, the first revelation of the devil in Scripture is that he was more subtle, more crafty than any other beast mm-hmm. of the field, right? So he's not going to try and always smack you right in the face with some gigantic lie out of it. Yeah. No. He will take that proverbial glass of pure water and add a little bit of poison to it because that's all it takes, right? That's right. The dictionary says that a tale or a fable like this mm-hmm. is a story not founded on fact. Okay. okay? That means it's, it's, it's crafted. I have to tell you, the church today, the traditions of the church mm-hmm. today that are not based on Scripture, and when I say based on Scripture, I mean that they adhere to right. the account in Scripture. They're fictions that are cleverly designed to keep power by the ones who have crafted them. Right. Right. Remember, Peter said, all right, he's talking about when he made known the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. A lot of people want to distract you. I'm talking about people in the church want to mm-hmm. distract you from the power of God. Right. So you focus on their power. Right. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not going to get into this too much, but I, I don't just want to say, I mean, I have to say, I am compelled to say, mm-hmm. I'm driven to say. <laughs> if you look at how the celebration of Christmas and Easter take place, because those are the quote unquote two biggies in the church, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. Only in the church, not in scripture, okay? Right. There's so much fable in there. Mm-hmm. There's so much. That is just not, does not line up with the truth of Scripture. And we need to be so careful about that. You know, I, if I can sit here and tell you, as I do so often, don't trust me. Test me. Test what I say. Make sure that what I'm telling you is Scripture mm-hmm. or lines up with the Scripture. That it didn't come out from out of left field somewhere, all right? Jesus, you know, Jesus said to the Pharisees, the religious leaders of his time, in Mark chapter 7, he talked to them and he said, you know, how nicely you set aside the commandments of God to hold fast to your traditions. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously then, the, the traditions were in conflict with, with the Word, with the, word, with mm-hmm. the commandments of God. Right. That's still true today. I mean, there's nothing new under the sun, and Satan hasn't come up with any new ideas, right? He just keeps wrapping them in different... Packages. Right. So how how can you protect yourself? Because when it says that these are cleverly devised, mm-hmm. okay, that means somebody's going through an awful lot of effort to bend this into a story work it into, that'll be yeah. be acceptable, like a con man. And I've always said, you know, Satan he comes as a thief, but he's a very particular kind of thief. Mm-hmm. He's a con man. He has to make something very attractive he has, because he has no power over you. Yeah. He can't. He can't bonk you on the head and take what's rightfully yours. 
He has to talk you into giving up what's rightfully yours. Mm -hmm. All right? And he does that with cleverly devised tales. Yes, tales and fables. Mm -hmm.